Um, if you guys just have any general questions to start out, like anything you've been thinking about recently, theory related, whatever, um, before we get started. Uh, racing limps. What range? Uh, at what stack depth? Uh, I guess it's 25. Different. Yeah. Like at 25. 25. Okay. Um, all right. Um, you're going to have different ranges for different sizes because different hands have different characteristics uh, in terms of how they how your opponent's average limp calling range realizes expectation against it. So if we have a hand like ace-king, uh, or our bluffing hands, like if we raise like a king three off, or a seven five off over a limp or something like that, uh, we would definitely want to make it a bigger size uh, to um, give our opponent worse odds to be able to call um, because their limb calling hands are going to realize equity really well versus us. Uh, so for a bigger sizing, like three and a half, four times a big blind, it's going to be a polarized range uh, if we have a bluffing range um, of um, uh, like the ace king, ace queen uh, type of hands in our range, pocket sevens, uh, pocket eights, pocket nines, stuff like that. And then our bluffs, like I said. And then the smaller size, uh, probably three times a big blind, uh, is going to be like Jack nine suited, ten nine off, queen jack off, stuff like that. Uh, so, not a polarized range, just hands that dominate um, a limp calling range for the most part. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And um, read lists like I would just jam like small pairs over a limp, really to any stack depth. I think you can jam your weak ace x as well. I don't think that people are uh, limp trapping uh, twenty five deep. When you're readless enough, um, and they're like a hand like ace two suited or um, ace five off or something like that, it's just not a very good hand to four times the limp with. Uh, it's just going to play really poorly in a limp called pot. So I think jamming is best for the most part. But when you find if you're playing someone that's limping decent hands, uh, then obviously you know you want to stop doing that. Does that make do, do you guys all agree with that or or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, um, and obviously that's gonna you know it's gonna change as stacks decrease. Like you could uh, um, three and a half times instead of four times, and you could um, with that range, and you could like two and a half times, you know, or a little bit smaller than a three times maybe with your um, you know jack ten off type hands when you get down to like uh, fifteen big lines, thirteen big lines, stuff like that. 